Welcome to the Center for Engineering, Innovation, and Design. Opened in Becton Center at the beginning of the fall semester, the CEID represents one of Yale's most recent and ambitious projects in its efforts to improve science facilities at the university. The CEID is a progressive and exciting new experiment put forth by the School of Engineering and Applied Sciences. We just opened our doors a few weeks ago. And the mission of the center is really to provide the resources necessary for the Yale community to come together to collaborate, to generate ideas, and also to provide the resources necessary to realize those ideas, to move them past the post-it note. The CEID has a studio, several workshops, conference rooms, and a lecture space, all of which are available to any student who signs up to be a member. Many engineering students and groups have already taken advantage of these resources, including Levi DeLuke, co-founder of Design for America at Yale. The beginning of the CEID here um, has had a huge part on both my um, individual projects and my work with Design for America. There's lots of support from engineering um, and especially the Design Center um, for interdisciplinary activities. They're very supportive um, for a conference that we had last weekend um, and then for projects as well for both the space and then the financial aspect of things. We, we meet a lot upstairs and then whenever we do like larger workshops we'll do it in the lecture space. Students have been using the space to design products as diverse as weather balloons, ice cream scoops, and a device to extract oil from Ethiopian nuts. The space has also attracted interest beyond the engineering community. A couple of the exciting projects that I've seen over the past few weeks, uh, one came down from the medical school. It was a physician who was looking for better ways to visualize vasculature both in the brain and in the pulmonary structures. Uh, so after a conversation with him, we determined that 3D printing these structures would be a wonderful idea. The center now has around 475 members, only a third of whom are science or engineering majors. Its diversity represents Yale's increasing emphasis on an interdisciplinary approach to engineering. Those 475 members span 55 of the undergraduate disciplines and represent nine of the 11 professional schools. In terms of professional schools, we have members from law, school of management, school of medicine, and even divinity. Every day there's a new story to tell about how the Center for Engineering, Innovation, and Design is sort of this melting pot of people with common ideas. One story is from yesterday when a group of graduate students from the School of Management partnered with our undergraduate, Yale Undergraduate Aerospace Association to work together with the management students bringing space-oriented speakers to campus. The CEID is one of a number of construction and renovation projects on Yale science and engineering buildings. Improving science facilities has been one of the university's main priorities over the past two decades which saw the construction of the Environmental Science Center, Malone Center, Chemistry Research Building, Kroon Hall, and the Center for Science and Social Science Information. But further construction projects grounded to a halt during the 2008 recession. Our facilities um, were really victim to some um, unfortunate deferred maintenance um, for many years. There was a master plan for Science Hill that was uh, conceptualized and completed prior to the recession. Um, after the recession, the resources just weren't available. So um, the most specific example of that is the, uh, the chemistry department in SCL and KCL. There was a huge project plan um, for, for those two buildings, and while we have not been able to do that, we've basically taken a step back and figured out how to, to renovate those same, same spaces at a different scale uh, at a fraction of the cost. And the first step for that, uh, just launched this past month, is a complete renovation of KCL. So KCL is now empty, and we're starting a, uh, a complete gut renovation that'll be done in about a year and a half. Construction projects planned over the coming years include renovations of classrooms and both teaching and research labs. This past summer also saw new classrooms and research space open in the former health plan building on 17 Hill House. On the research space side, in addition to the renovations that are currently ongoing in chemistry, we're hoping to be able to launch the Yale Biology Building in the near future. Um, and what that is key for is not only new space for the, for the biologists, um, but it provides a lot of uh, swing space in the current Klein Biology Tower, which would be vacated. And so that's a key to the next step of, of major planning for almost all the departments on Science Hill. As far as teaching spaces, we have an initiative to renovate all of the science, all of the classrooms on, on Science Hill, and will be completed in the next year or so. 
Um, and the first example was in Sloan Physics, which was done this past summer, and it's getting great reviews. Beyond work on facilities, the science departments and engineering school have also been implementing a series of initiatives to improve the quality of science teaching and to expand the faculty. They hope that these efforts will help attract more of the nation's top science and engineering students and eventually allow Yale to be recognized as a top university in science and engineering. We certainly are at an upward trajectory. We are growing in size, we are growing in space, we are growing in activity. As Yale continues to expand its resources and facilities for science students, this is truly an exciting time to be a science major. This has been Clinton Wang reporting.